Are you looking to start a website or blog on WordPress? Well, if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you are, and you are probably looking for some web hosting. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be comparing Bluehost versus SiteGround to help you decide which one is gonna be best for you in creating your very first WordPress website. All right, guys, so as you can see on the screen, this is a screenshot from the actual WordPress website, and, and you will see right here that WordPress actually recommend both Bluehost and SiteGround, okay? They both have full functionality. They both work extremely well when it comes to making a website or blog on WordPress. So whichever one you choose, Bluehost or SiteGround, you cannot go wrong when it comes to this. WordPress will recommend them both. They both have full functionality and they work great. So if this is your first website or blog and you wanna make it on WordPress, then you're probably looking for a very, very easy installation, right? Well, Bluehost and SiteGround both have you covered when it comes to this as well. It is very, very easy to install WordPress with just a few clicks of the button, okay? With Bluehost, it is in fact only one click, okay? It is literally one click and it will be installed onto your website. WordPress will be installed that easy. With SiteGround, it is not quite as easy, okay? It is very, very easy, but it's not quite one click. It's a few more mouse clicks. It, you know, it still doesn't take up much more time whatsoever, but Bluehost wins on this one. It has a much, much easier WordPress installation. It is literally one click and boom, it's automatically installed for you. All right, guys, so let's talk about pricing because this is probably the one that most people care about, probably the most important one. So I'd just like to say, first of all, that these prices I'm gonna be showing you today are exclusive discounted prices for anyone who uses the links in the description to sign up, okay? These are discounted prices, especially for my viewers. So if you are interested in Bluehost or SiteGround, make sure you go to the description after this video and click those links to sign up there to get special prices. So now let's take a look at the actual prices of Bluehost and SiteGround and compare them both, okay? I'm gonna be comparing them on their recommended plan. They usually have three or four different plans, but I'm gonna compare them on their recommended one, their most popular plans, okay? And I'm also gonna be comparing them on a three-year basis and a one-year basis. Uh, both of these, Bluehost and SiteGround, they do not offer a monthly plan. You cannot pay per month like some other web posts, okay? You can only pay per year or per three years, or sometimes I think five years as well. So let's take a look. Bluehost is going to cost you $5.95 per month if you purchase a three year plan, okay? But like I said, you can't pay per month. This is going to be a one time upfront cost. So 5.95 times 36, that is what you're going to be paying. And that is for the first term only, okay? After those three years are finished, then the price is going to increase, okay? So you're better off getting the more expensive, the, the longer plan, okay, the three-year one over the one year, because uh, it's, gonna co it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run, okay? SiteGround, guys, is gonna be the same, 595 per month for the first term. On the one-year plan, Bluehost is a little bit more expensive because you're paying for less time, okay? That's gonna be 795 per month. Uh, for the first term once again, okay? So after that, it's gonna go increase, and uh, so you're better, much better off purchasing the, the longer plan. SiteGround, however, is cheaper. It stays at 595. Even if you only purchase one year, it stays at 595. But again, that's only for the first term. So you're much, much better off getting the longer plan because it'll definitely save you a lot of money in the long term. With SiteGround as well, they do not offer a free domain, okay? You will have to pay $15.95 per year, okay? So again, overall, in the long run, if you plan on having this website for a very, very long time, SiteGround is gonna cost you a little bit more because you do not get the free domain, okay? Uh, Bluehost, however, they will give you a free domain. So the total for one year with Bluehost is $95.40. SiteGround coming in a little bit cheaper at $87.35, okay? But like I said, you're not gonna get the free domain with SiteGround or anything like that. And uh, you, this will, the prices will increase after your first term. SiteGround also offer a trial, okay? You can, you can sign up for a trial, a one month trial, just to see if you like it, if, if SiteGround is right for you. That's gonna cost you $5.95 plus $24.95 for the setup. That's only for one month. Bluehost, however, they do not offer a trial, but they do have a money back guarantee, okay? So you can pay for this, and then you can get your money back for 30 days. If you are not happy with the service, they do have a money back guarantee. 
So another very, very important factor when it comes to choosing your web hosting is their speeds and uptime, how fast your website pages will load and how often they are up, okay? How, how often this, the, the web hosting is up. Well, with Bluehost and SiteGround, honestly, in the years I've been using them, I have never had a problem with both of them, okay? They both guarantee 99.9% .9 uptime and in, in my experience, I've never had any downtime whatsoever and I've been using this for a few years, so I've had 100% uptime with both of these. So, uh, in this case, guys, the speeds, they're both lightning fast, okay? You're gonna have no problems with speeds with both of these web hosts whatsoever, okay? The difference is, you know, it's different with every website, but they'd be a few milliseconds different. You can't really compare them. There's not much, there's not enough difference to compare. Uh, but overall, guys, when it comes to speeds and uptime, these are both winners because I've had never had any problems. And this is my experience with them both, okay? I've never had any problems. So in my opinion, they are both winners when it comes to speeds and uptime. And the support, let's talk about their support. So if you are looking, if this is your first website, your first blog, you're gonna need some support at some point, okay? Even experts, they need support. Sometimes you're gonna need help at one point in your life. So, Bluehost and SiteGround, their support is, uh, is you know, is uncomparable to any other. It is great, okay? It's 24 seven support. No matter when you are looking for support, they are there to help you, okay? I'm currently in Thailand, so I'm in a very different time zone to their offices, but I've never ever had a problem at all, okay? With both of these, the support, is some of the best that I've had on, on any website, to be honest, guys. So they are both a winner when it comes to support. All right, guys, and the verdict. Which one do I recommend? Which is my favorite? Well, in my opinion, guys, and this is only my opinion, okay? I prefer Bluehost. I've been using this for a very, very long time, and I have had absolutely no problems with them, okay? So they are cheaper overall, okay? The first few years, SiteGround is gonna be cheaper for you, but overall, in the long term, Bluehost is going to be the cheaper option, okay? If you plan on having a website for a very long time, I would go with Bluehost. If, you, if you're not sure, if you're unsure, if you're going to, you know, stick with your website, then maybe a SiteGround will be better for you for that, okay? It's easier to install WordPress. With Bluehost, like I said earlier, it is literally one click and boom, it is installed. It's so, so easy to do. I love it. For a beginner, it's going to be perfect for you and I've never ever had any problems whatsoever, okay? Literally no problems with support, with, with uptime, nothing at all. I've never had any problems with Bluehost at all. I can say the same with SiteGround as well, okay? With the support, never had any problems. Uptime, never had any problems. Speeds, both of them never had any problems. I've had, you know, it's been perfect with both of them, okay? But uh, overall, guys, in my personal opinion, Bluehost is my favorite web host. With that said, guys, I will have links to both of these in the description down below, okay? To Bluehost and SiteGround, I will have links to both because I do highly recommend them both. It just depends which one suits your needs, okay? Click the links in the description down below and read what they offer, okay? Some of them might have some options and features that will suit your personal needs, okay? So click the links in the description right now, go there, read all about them, and decide for yourself which one is the best, okay? Bluehost, that is my opinion. That is what I, that is my personal favorite one, okay? But you might have a different one. See which one suits you. So click those links. Like I said, those links will be discounted prices, especially for my viewers, okay? So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So that is it for this Bluehost versus SiteGround review and comparison. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, okay? Uh, it really helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget, guys, as well, the links will be in the description down below for you, okay? So check those out. And also subscribe as well. If you're interested in content just like this, and I also post videos about how to make money online, then click that subscribe button and also ring the notification bell to stay on top of any future uploads. But as for this video, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.